Hi guys, this is Les Taylor of lestaylorphoto.com and today I have another quick tip for you, this one coming from Adobe Lightroom. In this video, I want to discuss the difference between the highlights and the white sliders. Now for me, for a long time, I just wasn't really sure what the difference was between these sliders. Actually, this, this video will apply to the shadows and blacks as well, but for the purpose of this image, I think focusing on the highlights and whites will be best. So again, for a long time, I just really wasn't sure how these worked, and so I hope that this video will help you understand that better. So let's move the highlights and the white sliders back to their default position. And looking at the image here, you can see that there's some bright areas, especially here in this bowl. Things are a little bit too bright. And so what the highlight slider allows me to do is to control the detail in that area. Whenever you have an area that's too bright or too dark, you will lose detail in the image. And so the highlights and the shadows will allow me to control the detail, while the whites and the blacks are going to focus on the tonality. So watch what happens when I move the highlight slider all the way down to minus 100. Okay, now you have a lot more detail in that part of the image. The problem is, as I've made that adjustment, the image has also become a little bit flatter, and it doesn't necessarily look as good as it does with some more tone. So with the white slider, I can add some more tone back into the brighter areas of the image. See, as I move this slider up, I get some more tone there. Now, normally, I'm not going to move the highlights all the way down to minus 100. This is just to illustrate how uh, these sliders affect the image. And again, these changes are going to be the same for the shadows and the blacks. The shadow slider will add some detail if you move it up, or of course you can take it away if you want, and then the black slider is going to control the tonality of those areas of the image. So I hope that that helps you better understand the distinction between these four sliders. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to ask me in the comments. This has been Les Taylor of lestaylorphoto.com. See you next time. Mm -hmm.